you know, everything's holding the same footprint as, you know, slave quarters set off to the side and a kind of phallic something or other hanging out in the distance, which honestly, if you go to Monticello, another striking space there is the Jefferson family plot, which Jefferson is marked there by a, a, an obelisk. You know, these things stolen from Africa that then become, you know, notable here in the U.S. as you know, representing, you know, just the dick in the sky. Um, and, <laughs> and yeah, just something about how the mall is laid out, I think really does speak to that grand scale at which, you know, the plantation has gotten scaled up and cool. in so doing the, the vernacular architecture of black people can't be, can't be ignored. It's still, it's still floating over there off to the side. Yes, uh, it's um, it's interesting that you mentioned the obelisk uh, because the as you said it's it's an appropriated African yeah. piece of architecture um, and it is literally the phallus of Osiris. Yeah, it's a cool story. People should. Yes, and so Osiris uh, was chopped into fourteen pieces, and yeah. his phallus again it was never found. Right. It was never found, and the obelisk. Um, is meant to be a center of power for an empire. And um, thus it is the thing which was stolen from Egypt that is placed in every empire uh, since yeah. uh, that, that considers itself to be an empire. So Rome, France, Germany, yeah. um, we see obelisks appear all over Europe. Um, and of course the United States would find that to be its prime um, element. Not not um, unconscious stuff. Not unconscious stuff. I <laughs> yeah. I also the the also the story is that was it Isis his his wife was looking for the pieces of him couldn't find the phallus and manufactured one to self impregnate and like produce the next line of this royal this royal dynasty. So I find it also a pretty magical object in that it's been appropriated and kind of stripped of this like interesting femme centered, like, you know, story of, of immaculate conception through one's own handiwork. Um, I think it's a really, I think it's so interesting that it's been appropriated and lost for as, as long, as far as I can tell in the, in the public, you know, I, this kind of, like woman-centered power move. I mean, it's it's like a mythical object. It's an, it's it's amazing. 